Yeah. So um, we are going to build a very simple but powerful project using the concepts that we've been learning so far. So let me show you what I want us to build. This. And um, I'm hoping that we can, you know, utilize most of the things that we've been we've been learning so far um up until this to up until today so we're going to leave this open because we're going to keep looking at it um as we do the design so um um to get started let's just create um a folder um so we're going to call this um i don't want to create it on this level so today we're gonna to work in, uh, we need to create a folder in this location. Say CSS um, day four, actually day five. Okay, so let's go into it and create a file. We call this um, banner, banner.html. Okay, so what you see is called a, a banner, right? Um, normally when you go to websites, this is one of the things you see first. They have a section like this on the home page. So let's see how to design it. Okay. I mean, there are different ways of designing something like this, but let's let's see one of them. Okay. Um so let me copy the HTML because we don't want to type it from the scratch, okay? Um, I'm just gonna copy this. Then we just wanna focus on the design. So control copy. Of course, we're gonna go through it and see what, what, what we are doing. Um, copy the HTML. Um, go back to the location here, then paste it. Save. And then, we're gonna remove this reference. Let's create our own style sheet. Style sheet. Um, styles, style.css. I'm thinking sometimes I just like to put the code in the head section, but today let's do it in an external file, okay? So let's create this file in here to put our code in there. Styles.css, okay. So the designs are gonna be here and then the HTML code is here. So now when we look at this code, let's see if we we understand everything that's going on. Um, first of all, we can see that there is a list of items in here, one, two, three, four. And in the code, we have one, two, three, four, and then five, right? Um, so there is a list, so we have different ways of making a list in HTML, actually two major ways. One is the UL and then the other one is OL, right? So unlisted, unlisted um, list. Who okay, has a question? Yeah. So why are you putting the code in the external file? So the styles, we're gonna put the design in because it's gonna, maybe it will be a long code, right? If the styles are long, you don't want to put it in the head, in the head section. We could have easily done this and then put our style styling in here. But that is if there's gonna be a very short code for the CSS. But this one looks like it could be a long code. So I decided to just put it here. And there is other, another advantage of putting the styles in an external file is that you can keep reusing it in different um, different HTML documents. All you have to do is to reference it. And then you can keep reusing the styling that you put here. Okay. So we save that. Um, one sure thing is this. In this list that we are making, we have four items in there. But if you look at, the code, there are one, we actually have five in the HTML. So one, two, three, four, five. 
one, two, three, four, and then five. So we are adding this one also to the list. Then we're gonna use margin to space out, you know, the list and all of that. Now you can see there is a display happening over here. It's an inline display happening here. And uh, of course, this one is a heading tag. This is a heading tag. So it could be say H1 or H2, something like that. So they are using, now let's go into the main container. Yeah. They are using H1, H1 tag for, for this, this line. And there is a, there is a, a button, right? This is a button here. Once you click on it, it should go somewhere. And then um, the last element on the page is this one here, and that is another button, right? So at this point, I'm sure that we can now see the connection between this HTML code and then what we see here. I mean, we take out the, the design, of course. The designing is what we are about to do now. So let's get started. Um, I just want to begin from the top, right? Because the, the top section of, of the of the of the of the document so you can see that this is the list and then they are also grouping it into a major tag right so that you can add you know as many designs as you want and um, also you can see this section they also grouped it into container they also grouped it into container so we can, if you want to apply a style to all of them, we can do it. So I'm just think, where do we get started? Where do we start from? Um, first of all, let's see how this is going to look. Um, so without any styling at all, this is what we have. Any styling at all, we have this. So... Um, Ibrahim just joined. Um, so Ibrahim, um, we gave this work as a homework. Um, we, we were supposed to develop it at home. Um, today, I just want to quickly go through how to do this with all of us, um, because I know Kofi is gonna be leaving very soon, so we, we can get some value for today. So we, we just guessed, we are now getting started, okay? So we first okay. we just copy the HTML and put it here. We're doing the one-to-one -one mapping of the HTML to the page. So, you know, we have the main header. So everything is within the main header. Um, we can give the main header some um, border so that we see, we see the, the, the margin, we see the border, right? Let me one second. So right now we don't see the main the main header. We don't see um the the peripheral, the boundaries of the main header. So I just want to make sure that we see the boundaries of the main header. So I'll just say border. And now as you know, two pixels solid, and then I'll give it a color of tomato. Okay. Now let's see what that does. Um, okay, so we see the main book. And um, we are keeping this over here because we want to keep looking at it. Um, now, this list over here, we have them go, all of these are what? This, uh, who can tell me the display property for this list items? The display property of this list items. You mean UL, is it? Uh, so the UL, that is the tag name, oh. right? And within the tag name, it allows you to put so many different lists in the list items. Let's look at the HTML. What is the HTML? See, this UL, you are just saying that I'm about to make up a list. So they are saying, what is the list number one? List number two, list number three, list number four. And so this is a list tag right now we are just focusing on the list tag okay and um 
the question is that if you look at the way the list are displaying, see the first list is taking the rest of the space, right? Look at the second list is also taking the rest of the space. Block. Block. So you can see that the list, the, the display property of the list right now is block. But if we look at um, this work, we don't want it to be blocked. We want them to be side by side, right? So we have to change that to inline. Inline, yeah. Yes. So the question is, how do we select the list from here? We can we can go. To, we can select the list. Actually, this is the only list on the page, so we can just reference. We can just call it by name. The easiest easiest way is to call it by name, but you know, I would just say li, and then I will say display in line. Say, so, uh, let's see what that does. Yeah, yeah. Suddenly we have this. Does this look like um we are getting closer in a way? So we are just looking at the stuff and then. Anything that we can do to bring us closer to the other one is what we want to do. So now, um, let's go back to, let's see, we can see that the list items are all aligned to the to the left. But to the left of what, right? It's, it's, it is within a container and then it's aligned to the left of that container. So what is that container? Uh, that container is going to be the UL, right? All the list items, they live in UL. And then the UL also live in the navigation tag. So um, let's see the, the, let's see the, the, the region that is taken by the UL. And then we're also going to see the region that is taken by the navigation. And then we're going to, it will tell us what we should do. So once again, there is only, there is only one UL on the page. So I can say, I can just use the UL. But if there were many ULs on the page, then I have to specifically say that I'm going through the class called navigation. So the class called navigation, and then I want to assess the UL tag within it. So because the navigation is a class, you're going to put a dot over here. So it's two, many different ways of doing this. So I just want to set the border because the border always tells us the region, the space that is taken by that container. So let's say, right. Now let's see what this does. Um, refresh this. So you see the UL is taking all of this space. Um, let's see, look at the navigation also. Um, dot nav. I'm going to, let me just copy this. And I just want to see the regions, the spaces that are taken by the stuff. So let me make this one blue. Normally when you're developing, you know, these are some of the things you do to have an idea of what you're doing. So within the UL, if I use the text align and then I align the text of the UL. This is the UL to the left, to the right of the screen. Then we can see that all of this will move to the right. Right. Um, so let's 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 just refresh this and see the region. So this is the region taken by the main navigation, right? So the UL lives in the main navigation, which is okay. Um, so let's see over here. So we can see the main navigation has a border. Here we can see it has a border and the, the color of the border looks like, um, what color is this? Something like white. So let's just keep, let's maintain that. Let's maintain this thing. I want to select something like white because um, it looks like white to me. So we leave that there. Um, if it is white, then it's kind of disappearing also. Um, okay, let's, let's, we need a color that will show. So let's make it say, 
Um, great. Great for now. So yeah, yeah, this one looks good. So I'm gonna align the text of this navigation to the left. So the way I'm gonna do that, uh, what is that? So UL, navigation UL, let's say text align, text align. Let me make it left. You know, you can do this in so many different ways, right? Did I save that? Okay, that is saved. Text align. Oh, yeah, yeah, right now it's already on the left side. Let me make it right and see. Sorry. You see, this is the left of the screen. So if I make it right, it moves to this side. Okay. Which is pretty much closer to what we have here. But we can see there is a little bit of space in between them. And uh, one more thing that we can see. Um, I think you can see that the color is also white, right? So let's set the color to white also. The color of um, the navigation, the UL. We are still controlling the list, okay? So color, white. We are still controlling the, 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 the list. Um, did I say what I did? Mm, okay, so now color white here is not working. Let's see why it is not working. So this, this UL doesn't really have any text within it. Like it doesn't have, um, if you set the color to, to any color, it's looking for any text in here and it's gonna color it. But you can see now there's another tag in here called the list. And within the list, there's another tag called A, anchor tag. And that is what contains the text that we need. So if you want to change this color to, to anything, we need to do it through the A, right? So let's select the A. Again, this is the only A on the page, so we can just, we can just call it by name, say A. This is the anchor tag. We know what the A tag is. It allows you to create a link. Let's put the color white in this one. If you have any question, please do ask. Um, because Kofi is also leaving, so it's making me do this by myself. <laughs> Which is So now the color white is there, but it's blending into the background color of the UL. Um, so why don't we, let's do the background of the whole div because I can see there is a picture image and you can see the same picture is what is, um, what, see the same picture that we see on this side is still covering the background of this, this uh, section also. So right now the white color is missing though. So let's make it visible for now. If you use white, it's gonna hide, say blue. It used to be blue, let's say, uh, what other colors are there? <laughs> Green. But we know it has to be white, right? Um, say, say, um, oh gosh, this one, let's make it green for now. Um, I want to work on the background. Okay, so um, what is this container, this whole container? Uh, the, the bigger container is, um, let's look at the code. That is the, the main header. So like everything on the page is put within the main header. So if we change the background of the main header, it's going to, affect all everything here. So let's try to do that. Um, so uh, the main header, we can just, it is, it's a class, right? Is it a class or ID? It's a class. So we just want to say dot CL and then, um, 
let's say background image. Let's set the background color first to see what we get. The space that is covered by this. So you can see. If we set the color, this is what we get. But we want to use the image because they are, there is an image over there. So let's, of course, we can also increase the width and the height a little bit. It's very small. See, this is taking almost about half of the page. So let's just work on the height first. But that is the main container, right? So the size of the main container, you can control it here. So again, there is no one single way of doing this. I'm using the percentage, 50% of the, of the body. Um, so if I do that, let's see what we got. Did I save that? So main header, specifying the height and nothing is happening. It's a little strange. Okay, let's see. Let me specify it in a different um, unit. So we view height, 50% of the view height. Let's see if that works. Okay, so 50% of the view height is working. That's fine. Um, let's set the background image now, All right? Because there is an image. So how do you do it? This is the syntax, right? You open the bracket and then now you have to go to the part of the image. You just have to know the syntax. Um, now what is the images should be shown here. Let me see the location that we are first. So we are in here. If I want to reference an image over here, can somebody give it a try what I need to do to do that? I know coffee is coming to the time for coffee is about to end. Like, how do I reference an image in this folder? That, that, slash, because I need to get out of this folder first and then enter that image, images folder. Then I can select, uh, let's select New York and say, now let's see if that works. Yep, so we got the image. We got an image. Um, normally, once you get an image, there is a property called um, how do you want the image to position on the background? There's contain, there's cover, there's, we have to look at that. So you want the image to be, to cover the whole space. You can always, the size of the image, you can specify that. So background, um, I don't, let's see if that makes a difference for us. The size of the image, you can say cover. So you want to, it's already covering the whole space, but let's see if this, yeah. see the, the first time we did it, the image had actually skewed to the left. But now you, this, you, this is the whole image and the whole image is covering whatever the size of the, of the, of the container is. So I guess that is the significance of, of using the, that. Okay, so now we have that. Um, let's change this colors to, to white right now. Um, so the color of, um, of the tags, change it to white as it is, white. Let's see what we get. Okay, so now this is visible. We want to put some spaces between these elements. So how do we do that? The margin, right? Yep, the margin, good. So these elements are the list items. So um, let's see, um, they are the list items. So let's do it here. Margin, let's use any, say 15 pixels, looks good, 15 pixels, let's see. Okay, so that worked. Um, so 
that, that works. Um, okay, so what other thing can we do? Look at this and tell me what you think we can do to get closer to this. Um, anything that stands out that we need to do to get closer to this? Uh, Abraham? Yes, sir. I said you will need to centralize the join us learning um, center or something. Tech. Yeah, the join us and learning, we need to center centralize that. it. And the play button. And the play button. Okay. So that's a, a good catch. Um, okay. Uh, let's do that. Um, so where is the global tech mastery? This is the global tech, tech mastery H1 tag. Um, we gave it a class of banner name. So let's copy that and then use it in the styling. Just gonna say dot banner name. First of all, uh, to center it is text align. Center, let's see that works. Okay, so that did work. Um, what other thing can we do to this? The color should be white, right? So we can change the color to white. Um, and oh, shit, sorry, guys, sorry. That's what I'm... Now we have the colors white. Now let's see what else can we do. Uh, I think this the font size is bigger here, right? Mm -hmm. Also, the global tech mass um machinery. The second one has to go to the left. Um, the second one has it, to sorry, the one top, the top one. Oh yeah, yeah. This one has to go to the left. Okay, okay, that's good. We'll, we'll do that. Let's let's can we increase this font size and then do that one? Um, mm -hmm. okay. So let's increase the font size here to. Font size. We just increase it to say seven em. You know, it could be anything. That's seven em might work. And um, let's see. Yeah. Looks like a, it looks about the same size. Okay. Okay. Now let's center, Ibrahim said that we should center these ones also. So let's see if we can do that. Um, um, so what is the name for this container, the container that contains that? So um, join us is, um, so we can call it button header, button header or a button. This are, we can use any of these designs. So button header, you can see button header, button header. So whatever design we give to this is gonna apply to this one too. Um, but if you want to give some specific designs to only this, we can do it through container and then button header. So, but let's let's do that. Let's let's do that. Um, for the centering, we want all of them centered. So it's all right to just. So it got button header, and then we we'll do the text align. Let's center them. Okay, now saved. Let's see what we get. Um, okay, so it didn't center that. Let's see why. Button header, text align, center. This is a, okay. Let's go back to the banner. So button, the class is that. Okay, so it's a little bit interesting. Let's let's change it to the button and see. Since that is the first um that shouldn't matter at all. So Button header, text align center. So, okay. so surprisingly, this one is not centering. So let's think about what's happening. 
It's saved, right? Mm -hmm. It is saved. So if we want to center that, what do we have to do? Button header. Okay, let's see what is surrounding this. Let's see the surrounding um div. Um maybe we can get some ideas from there. So the button itself is surrounded by this container. This container is the whole big container. Okay. This one could be centered and um Okay, so if it's not centering, we can try to do some margins to still do it. We can still use margin to do it. So that's why you don't have to have one tool all the time. Let's just use margin. And by using margin, let's just set some left margin here and see what we get. So that would be margin left. Let's say 40%. So we used the percentage previously and it didn't work, let's see. So now it worked, okay. And look, it's moving all of them together, <laughs> which is the same, right? Because they all have the same um, class. They have the same class name. I'll make this like 50% to get it in the middle. Yeah, it's like it's it's not exactly in the middle, but um, let's say 40, 45. So this is the time where you do a little bit of trial and error. Okay, this looks good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now we want to space out these two ele elements, right? They are too close to each other. So please asking, is there a reason why the margin worked, but the center didn't? So the centering, um, let's see, let's do a little test and see. Um, I just will do a little test on the button. But sometimes, you know, these elements, they have their own default behaviors. Um, okay, one second. Uh, okay, okay, let me do something. Um, I'm going to just apply the center to only this div and see if it works. Then I will, I'll tell you something. So if I want to do that, I have to say container and then button header. Oh, I just, let's go there. Let's see container. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to type. Uh, we'll just go through that container. Okay, and then button header. And let's do the center here of oh, text align. Text align center. Let's see if that works. Let me do this and see. Okay. Oh. So even that also didn't work. So, um, it could be that because we've already centered this 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 div, you also want to center this. It's probably going to move to that location. It could be. Um, but let me center only this the other one. You see. Let me. Um, I'll copy this, and then I'll just go back, because I want to keep what we had there. Yeah? Let's center the other element. Um, so here, let's just give it another another class. Oh, it already has another class here, button play. So let's use that. Uh, I'm trying to figure out why it didn't work. Uh, okay, so now let's see. Okay, so that also didn't get centered. Um, but 
One second. Let me do a little dividing here for border. Um, two pixels. Solid. So sometimes you just, you know, you play with things to figure out what's happening. I can't see the bottom of the screen. Oh, you guys couldn't see it? Yeah, if you could scroll down. Now you see it? Yep, thank you. Okay, sorry. Thank you. Now when we just refresh this. <laughs> so now I see why we put in center. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, guys, it's simple now. I see it. Look, you, look at what I just did. Let me show you guys what I did, and then I can. Let's make this bigger. Say five pixels. Because it's already centered. You cannot center something that is already centered. <laughs> see, look at the border of the element. So what is happening is that the button is an inline element. And inline elements, you know, they take the space that they need. So this is all the space it has. So if you center it, it is already centered. Mm -hmm. So the way to be able to use the text align here is to change the display to, change the display to, I'll show you how, I'll change the display to something that I would allow us to give it um, a length, say inline block. Mm -hmm. And then again, this will not change anything because it still has the same length. So we have to increase the container I mean, it's not even in any container anyways. Um, but, okay, one second. Um, yeah, yeah, that's right. Let's see, let's just, uh, if we lived in a container, we could increase the size of the container and then we'll center it. Let's see what, what. let's see if that works. So let me just increase the width first and see what we get. Width, let me make the width say 50 pixels, 50% is fine. Let's see what we get first. Um, Hmm, so it's just gonna become bigger now. It's not exactly centering. So normally if you are centering something, it has to live in something. It has to live in a container or something. Um, so this one really, um, of course this one, what does it live in? Um, yeah, I think I have an explanation, a meaningful explanation. Um, you see, this one lives in this container here, right? So if you if you call the center on this element, you are telling this element to move to the middle of the container, right? You are telling it to move to the middle. But this is the whole container, and the middle is around this. But the middle is already taken by another element. Remember the normal flow of the document? You cannot take somebody's place. So the only way to do it is to use the positioning. You have to position this relative to the, 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 the container, and then you can move it wherever you want to go. But as long as this element is within the normal flow of the document, you cannot really center it because the center has already been taken by this. I don't, so for those who were here yesterday, I think this would make sense. Um, so, um, Kofi, the experiment I just did was a good one, but I don't think that was the reason. Um, the, the reason is that we, we could, what container does it live in? Okay. We can still do one more experiment and see, um, I will do one more experiment here. The H1, 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 what is the H1? That is this banner. Let me. Um, remove the text align from here. Okay, one second. Let me. Uh, I don't. I'll do one more experiment to verify what I was saying. Okay, and then I will make sure this is not text aligned. We have to remember what we are undoing. <laughs> okay, now let me see something. Can you comment out of these, like um? The program ones, or no? Uh, yeah, yeah, we can comment. Thank you. I should have just used the commenting also. That would have been one way of doing it. I I just think it's just the normal flow of the document. Um, violations. Let me 
I want to just move this up here and see something, if it can be centered. And then now let me call the center on that. Container, button header, text align center. So, um, centering a button. Let's think, let's think a little bit. We're centering the whole button. Is this something that is doable? Because a button is an inline, inline um, element. Let me do this. Um, trying to turn that and see that. Very well. So we gotta look into it. Because so I just move this up here. I don't think the center is taken, but somehow we are still not able to center this. This the text align center doesn't seem to work. Let's do a little bit of uh, text align center on button. Let's see. Let's see what people say about this. Um, <laughs> okay, I see what is happening. Because the text align property doesn't work on the element itself. It works on the container. See, you set it on the parent and then it will center everything that lives within it, right? But let's see, let me try that here. Um, what is the container? The container, oh gosh, the computer is slowing down. Ah, this side. So let's this container. Does it have a text align property set on that container? We are one thirty nine. I'm sorry. Sorry, go ahead. One sec. Oh gosh, let me close this because definitely it's causing the computer to slow down. So you always just do this kind of experimentations. There is a text text align center here also on the container. Okay, this is not directly on the container; it's on something else. So let's let's remove this. I hope we can go back. Oh, now it's working. You see, um, so whoever asked the question, we wanted to center. Um, we wanted to center this this uh banner this button let me go back i need, i want to now i know what is happening so let me just go back and then explain it again we were making a mistake uh let's go back it's gonna undo <laughs> but how far do i go okay i think we didn't have this border Um, this probably looks good. Let's see what we get first. Okay, so this one looks good. Let me explain to you what was happening. Um, so but banner name, text align center, what? But it's okay, I was explaining that one too. So the container is what you have to call the text align on it if you want to center the, the button. So right now, let me um let me just do comment this out and show you what I mean. Like half an hour said, you turn this into a comment this way, and then just uh I'm gonna remove this button header and I'm gonna call the text align on the container itself. Let's remove this also and save. Right now, what do we got? You see, everything is back here. Let me call the text align on the container that contains that. And uh, so the button is kind of treated like a, a text. You see that it, it did center it. 
So this button itself and everything that is in it, you have to treat it um, as a, a text, right? So, <laughs> and it lives in a container. So you call the alignment on that container and then everything within it is gonna get centered. So essentially that was the best way to do it. Um, is, is this thing clear what I just said? Please look at this place here. You see the, the heading and the button, they live in a container, right? Mm -hmm. So if you call text align on the button, the button, this one is now acting as a, a text. It's acting as a text to this container. Mm -hmm. So you have to call the alignment on the parent container, then it's going to align everything that is in it. So we can also take a chance here. This banner name, even if, I believe that even if we remove the text align from here, it's still gonna be aligned. Let's see. You see, it is still aligned. So we took the text alignment from the banner uh, heading, this name, but because we call the text align on this container, it's going to align everything within it. So essentially that is the best way to do this one. But you can see this one here is not aligning because it is not in the same container as this two. We can move it into the same container or we can call text align on the, the parent div. The parent div is this one here. Let's call text align on it. And I'm expecting that to center this, the one on the bottom. And it did. And you see, so don't call the text align property on the text itself. Call it on the parent and then mm -hmm. it will work. Okay, so we can continue working from here. Um, yeah, so that is that was a good one. And we need to space out these two elements. What is the best way to do it? Um, we can just add some margin margin around this element at the bottom. Um, what is the name of it? You, I always forget the names. You always come. You can come back and check it. This Coffee. is a, sorry. Kofi said, um, "Thank you for answering my questions. I have to go." No problem, Kofi. Um, you can see that we're almost uh, done, so you can watch the video to finish up the remaining part of it. And thank you for the question also. It was a good one. Um, you always, you have to know that Google is available for you to clarify some things. So when there is a problem, the way you debug the problem, that is what makes you a good developer. But there will always be problems, but you have to find a way to understand the cause of the problem. Yeah. So uh, thank you for coming, Kofi, and enjoy your service. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, so my friends, I want us to put some margin around this element. It's not me, like it looks like we need to do that. Um, so we can reference the button play. You know, there are so many designs that we can be making. So margin, I'll put say 15 pixels around it. And let's see if that works. And that works. Um, the only thing is that um, it's already going over overflowing the main container. So we can increase the size of the main container, or I think the space between this is too big. Yeah, so we can we can find a way to remove this space here. Where is this space? Where where is it coming from? Let's check it. So the banner name only has a font size and then text align. Um, where is that space coming from? Main header, two pixels, banner name. Um, okay, so one of the easiest way to also see that you can inspect it. It's okay to inspect it. In the code, I don't see where I set this space. So I can just inspect it. 
Oh, you can see there is a big margin around the banner name. You can see there's a big, um, look at the margin. So let's remove that. Um, we can remove that. Um, how do I remove the margin around it? So we didn't put the margin there, but it is there, right? We didn't put it there, but it came by default. So if I want to remove it, what do I have to do? Of course, I have to locate the, the element, which is the banner name. So we can say margin around it. Let's just make it zero pixels. And then there is no margin anymore. And once we do that, now we have this. Okay. Um, I want to put a margin around this one. Actually, is there any margin around it? There is no margin at the top. Um, let's increase the margin on the bottom element. And this one also has a border. So let's do well to add the borders. Um, okay, so um, the banner name is covered. And then I want to increase the margin here to say 25 pixels. And let's add a border. Border of say two pixels is too big, so one pixel, solid, and then color blue. Um, now the banner name, we have it, but we don't have any design for the, for the, um, for this element here. So let's, let's bring it. Um, I mean, we can see that, um, the borders are the same for, for both of them. So we can just apply that design one time and it will just bind on all of them. So I can just apply it on this button header. So I'm gonna move these pixels up into this, into the button header. Um, of course you can see the button header is given to both of them, right? button header, button header. So that's why I can use it um, so that we don't repeat ourselves a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, this is what we need to. So now we have the border happening. Um, we need to increase the font of this clearly. Uh, let's increase the font. Um, So this time I don't want only what the font size, we can increase it for both of them, it's okay. Font size, font size, what should we use? Say font size, we can use 1.5 of the 1.5 EM, seems good. So 1.5% of the font of the parent, um, which is 16, so 1.5 percent of 16. Okay, so we have this. The play button bigger. Sorry, a little bigger, right? Uh, the play button, yeah. Right. So, um, I'm sorry, you said the, the play button color is different, right? Yes, it's bigger and it's blue. Okay, let's do that. So this is the play button here. Um, so we can change the color to blue. And we can also change the font size. We did change the font size over here. Let's increase the font size from here. Make mm -hmm. it 2.5 million. And let's see. Yeah, this looks good. It's slightly good. Um, why is the other one going into a second line? Um, yeah, because you see, this is shorter. Mm -hmm. So we may have to set the width also to make mm -hmm. it shorter. We may have to set the width. So let's do that. Let's set the width, make the width slightly smaller so that um, 
But there was another thing. I think the color, the color is white, right? See, the color is white, and we have it as black. So this is that element. So let's set the color here to white. And we can set the width. It's a button, so if to be able to set the width, I think we may have to change the the um the display from inline to inline block. Let's see. Oh, so it's already inline block, so we're able to set the width. Let's increase it a little bit. 70 pixels, let's make this like 200 pixels, 250 pixels. Yeah, so you see, so um, let's keep making this uh, 500, it's too big. I should have used the percentage. Um, say 400. I'm trying to get the same percentage that we had. So we we just have to make it slightly smaller. Um, let's make it slightly smaller. So you just do this trial and error stuff, right? So three. 380 is good. Yeah. It seems we have some similar behavior, but. And I think the background too, how are we going to put it there so that it can reflect the flag of um, American background? Yeah, like this one, right? Yeah. It's a tough question. Let's do something. Um, There is, let's see how. Um, let me, I'm gonna do one trick on the header. Um, the main header with the image, there is one property called background. I'm thinking that that's what's, what it is. Background um, blend mode, blend mode. Blending the background is to multiply. When you set this to multiply, I'm thinking that it will fix it. So that didn't fix it. It's a, it's a good one. Let, let, let's think a little bit. Um, so right now, the, this color is so opaque. Okay, okay, I think I have an idea. Let's reduce the intensity of this color, the background of this. Right? Let's make it... Um, Transparent, right? You know the transparency and the opaque um, lesson that we had? So the the button header, I actually want the, this, this particular one. I want to select this particular one. Oh, it seems the other one too is the same. So let's apply it to both. Um, what is both? Both is this one. Let's make the background color. Um, background color. Let's. So it's already there. Let's set it. Let's set any color that we want first, and then um reduce the. Let's use the RGB. If I want to be able to increase the uh, opacity of something, you know, we have to use the RGB color palette. RGBA color palette. We can also use the HSL. These are the two ways we we can have access to the opacity. So let's just say 255 here, um, the height 255, 255, 255. Um, so this is the white color. Um, it's already white anyways. So let me go slowly, save this. Let's see, make it white. It's already white anyways. So the text color is white. And then the background is also white, so you don't see anything. So now let's reduce the intensity of the color. So we add the fourth parameter. By default, it's going to be 1. Let's make it 0 0.5 and see. When you go slower to 0 0.1, 0, then it's going to become more transparent. Yay. 
<laughs> it worked. Mm. Huh, that was a difficult question, man. But I, I'm happy I did it. We figured it out. Because I was able to do it to a certain level, mm -hmm. but I couldn't get it to reflect the, the background. Yeah. So that's why I asked the question. It was a very good question. Trust me, I Thank was. It was a, I didn't know some of all these things that we're doing. I'm also looking at it and thinking. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah. Thinking with you guys. <laughs> so let's make it more transparent so we can see a lot of the background. So, and even it's, oh sorry, let's make it more transparent. It's even better this way. Okay. But I think that the text, the font size is too is too big, right? And also the width is also, of course, smaller than it is. We can easily do that. That's not too much of a, it's not that difficult. And of course, also the color that we chose is not exactly what it is. Let's do inspection and pick the color that they are using. Because for colors, you can always just inspect the page and pick it. So this is what they are using. Um, what they are using. Let's just use it in our code. Um, the border color is blue, we change it to that. And uh, what other, um, the font size is too big. Let's reduce it to, I saw 1.5 when we looked at the back there. Save, now let's see. Yeah, so we just have to make this slightly bigger. So uh, the, the width slightly uh, smaller. So the width is this here. Let's make it say 320. Didn't make a difference. So um, let's make it say 250. Yeah, this seems good. Yeah, this seems good. And I see our pixels is very slim, right? And the app pixel is slightly bigger. So, I mean, that is easy to do. We just have to increase the border pixel to two or something bigger. Now we have that. Okay. Uh, so this one, I think we, we this one, the size is slightly bigger too, right? So let's add some size to this. So that's the button play. Um, let's say width. I don't know what to do. Say 50 pixels and then height. 50 pixels. Yeah, so this work seems to, yeah, 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 that helped. Let's increase it slightly bigger. Um, let's make it a hundred pixels. So I guess you guys had a lot to learn in this work. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and this one is very small. So what do you think we can do to make it bigger? It's the font size, right? But this is the font over here. So the, the text is not always like this, right? It could be an image, could be anything. So clearly this is too big. So let's make it like 70 pixels. Um, do you think we should increase that? Let's increase the 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 size, the font size to say uh say four em three em. I mean I'm using pixels and ems like it's just too confusing for you guys, but I'm trying to give you some variety. 
Let's make this slightly bigger. So, yeah, we can, I think we can make it a little bit bigger. And we know the color is the same as the border color. <laughs> this little detail is them. So let's make this four. And then the color blue, let's change it to the color that we, we got from the back there. Change it to this. Save. Um, I think that we should be very close now. Yeah, this was pretty much up there. But um, I don't think the text is, is centered. Is it centered? This one is not centered. This is centered. So let's do that. I will increase this a little bit too because it looks slightly smaller. And then let's do the text align. I'll just center it here. Text align center should work. Oh gosh, sorry. Okay, this looks good. I think we are almost there, almost. Um, I think we should just increase this height also a little bit. All right, this ours is too small. Let's do that. So that's the main banner, right? All of, they all live in the main banner. Height, let's make it 60. Yeah. Okay. Now let's work on the other part that is left um here. We want to we want to move this all the way to the left. Hmm. <laughs> How are we going to do this? How are we going to achieve that? You know, that's the, the main question. I want you guys to make some suggestions. Can we go back to the code um, part? Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, so we have. Oh, yeah. There is a. There is an ID here. Mm -hmm. And then all of that. We already know that this one is taking the whole space. And then we align all of this to the right of it. And then we want to bring this one to the other side. So can you take um, the logos part? OK. I can take the logo. That logo. And what do I need uh, mm -hmm. to separate it from? Um, I'm listening to you. So what do you think we want to do? Now we are holding this logo in our hands and to what what is here it's a space right mm -hmm. so we are separating how can i separate this and the rest of the items let's do it okay. you want me to help you how do you separate two items margin 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 yeah yeah, so margin. So margin. This time, what do I want to do? I, the margin is going to be on the left or the right? Left. It's going to be, are you sure? This is the item. This is the right of it. Mm -hmm. This is the left of it. And look, I want the margin here. Currently, there is all this space. So this is the margin right of it. So... Margin, right? right. Um, let me say 50%. 50. I want to put a big space there. Yeah. So how do we get it all the way to the corner? I'm sorry? So are we trying to get it all the way to the corner? Yes, please. Um, 
we want you to get it all the way there. So we probably, should, what do you think we should do? We should just keep increasing the space, right? Yeah, we can do that. And um, maybe we can do some text align left, something, let's see. Um, we, instead of aligning this one to the right, we can align it to the left. It's one way of doing it. So let's do the text align left and see what we get. So within the UL, let's see if the text align left makes a difference at all. Oh, sorry. So text align left is not making a difference. Again, this one lives in a container called UL. So the text, you have to call it on the parent, not on, yeah. the, on, the, on the text itself. So that's one of the mistakes we did before. So text align on the element is not helping us. So let's say, and um, on the UL, We've already set the text align to the right anyways. What is the UL? The navigation UL. So if we change it back to left, we are kind of overriding mm -hmm. what's done. So let's just increase this margin to say 60, 60 pixels, 60% 60 of the space. And that's, that's also going. Okay, let's keep increasing this and see if it goes all the way or not oh it's still going oh now see there's an overflow mm. so we don't want this behavior so let's reduce it to say 55 or 57 so let's say 58 57 sorry sorry guys and this looks good okay this looks good but it's not all the way there so Let's inspect it and see what we can do. I just want to see what we have here. Ah, uh, so as a box, um, okay. So if I look at this one. Um, look at the margins. Um, here the history tells us there is a margin of 57 to the right, and all the other margins are zeros. Um, the font, let's go slightly out of it. And then we see a pattern. See, there's a pattern of 40 in there. Um, that is a pattern left. So can see. Because I want to get it slightly to the right. Oh yeah, I see some space that we can save. Look, there's a small space over here. You see there's a small space on the left. I believe that is the pattern. Con see the content is here and there is a, the pattern around it. Uh, yeah, let's make sure there's no pattern there. Um, we, we are thinking in the context of the box model. Let's just make sure there is no pattern. I mean, we are concerned about the left, so let's just focus on the left, pardon left, zero pixels. Let's see. So didn't really help much. Just move this slightly. Um, so now all this big space, what is causing that space? It is in the UL. Uh, so the UL, let's see, I think the UL, See, this one is not going anymore. Let's see what we can do. Let's think a little bit. Um, because I, I just want to be able to move slightly closer to the end. Um, and I'm not able to move. So could it be that there is a pattern on the UL, on this container? Let's just set some 
some stuff on the just I'm not sure this will help us, but this container, let's set margin to zero. I mean, I don't see if there is any margin there. And let me also set padding to zero and see what we get. Because like I'm thinking, this is the content of the of the of the container. And if they cannot occupy the whole space, I'm thinking that. Oh, okay. So padding zero, margin zero is what we get. <laughs> Looks like a bad behavior. Um, let me, let me. I think the padding is needed. Let's just say, padding left zero. Two pixels. Say zero pixels. So that also didn't help us. It's just imagine. Mm -mm -mm. So guys, let's think a little bit. What can we do here? We just got rid of all padding and all margin. And now this is happening. It's collapsing with the top. Mm, so what do we do? This big space. I mean, there is something we can do, some magic trick. Um, I'm gonna try that. But I kind of want this, I don't want this to be this small. So let me let me leave the margin there. Leave the margin there. If we like it, we want the margin. We want the margin. Um of course, we don't need the border too. Let's remove the border while we are there. But we forget. Um, so where's the border here? Let's remove the border. Mm, okay, I'll leave it there for now because it's helping us. Um, let me do a magic trick on the logo. If we set a negative margin to the left, margin left, if we set, actually, should it be margin? Margin of negative, let's see. Say negative 40 pixels. Normally when you set negatives, you are forcing it to go to a place where it's not supposed to go, so it didn't work. Let's make a pattern. Uh, so that also didn't make this one move. Hmm, interesting. The, uh, let's look at the navigation, what we can do to the navigation. But they all live in a navigation container. Is there anything we can do to the main navigation to help us get more space here? Let's see. Navigation. Okay, so let me remove the negative. Sometimes it helps you, but in this case, it doesn't help us. Okay, now let's see the main navigation. Do we even have that selected at all? Also, oh, we have the nav, okay. Um, let me make sure there is no padding in here. Again, that's just gonna add and margin, add and, um, uh, uh, I'm just thinking a little bit what we can do here. Um, then let's make sure there is no padding because if there is padding, then you know. It can also create some space in between things. Okay, so that didn't make a difference for us. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh, you can see this is taking the whole space anyways when you have that on it. So clearly we really cannot have any margins, it's true. 
see what I'm thinking. See, when I hover on this element, you see, it's taking the whole height of that. So we can't have a margin on the UL. So let's go back to the UL. UL. This one, um, let's put the margin zero there. Zero pixel. Um, okay, so now we have this. With, with no margin, it's acting, it's taking this, all the space available. And um, of course, we can increase the height a little bit. Right? It's too small. Let's increase the, 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 the height. Um, let's do that here. I said height of 50 pixels. Um, of course, I want to make sure that um, the navigation itself also has the same height, right? Otherwise, it will be bigger than the container. Let's see. Okay. So this looks good, but it is not centered. Things are not centered. Let's see. UL, text align, is right. They are right centered. Okay, wow. How do we center this now? Let's call the text align on the navigation and see if that works. So there are so many little details here that is very tricky to achieve. Uh, how do we text the line is left? Uh, how do we set this to center? Oh, this is CSS for you guys. <laughs> you always have to keep thinking. It's just, you never know. You would never know what behavior you're going to get. I'm going to set a padding top at this point because I've already called the text align property here. So let's do some padding to the top and see if that helps us. To let's set padding top here. Padding top of say forty percent of the container. Let's see. That's too big. Okay. It, it did work. It's just too big. Let me use pixels. Five pixels. Okay. Already this is overflowing. It's all right. We, we can fix that. Let me increase this to say 25. This one is safe. What we get. What is, it, what is that? banner yeah this looks good it's kind of in the middle the only problem is that the ul is now bigger than the navigation so let's try to increase the size of the navigation so that it matches this is the navigation let's increase the height to say 75 let's it was 50, I added 25 padding to that middle, so. And now they are the same again. Yeah, so that was a good one. We did achieve it. Did achieve that behavior. Okay. okay. So um, we, I think you guys play with how to get this one to go all the way to the left. Um, you have to play with the properties a little bit and see if you can achieve that. Um, okay, so what what is left now? Um, at this point, I think we can remove the border for the UL because it's not needed. As you can see, UL has no border. Uh, UL, let's remove the border. Okay, and let's see what we got. Yeah, now we have this. And even the main container too, we can remove this border that we have because we don't, I think we don't have that here. 
or maybe the color is different. So let's the main the main header the main header um main header in our code um but the color is red so <laughs> so main header okay um let me just make it black and the color black as seems there is yeah this looks better kind of closer to this in a way Um, okay, we can add more margin. I can see there is more margins to this. See, the margin here is bigger than the margin we have here. So let's add more margin to the list item. Increase this to say 25. Maybe that also helps us move closer. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, can you see what just happened? Now we have the exact behavior. So I think it was being controlled by the list item. There's so many items here. See, guys, there are different ways of doing this. Many different ways and way easier ways of doing this. Um, because we haven't learned the flex, the flex, um, the display property, uh, the dis display value of um, flex. That is why it's taking a long time to do this. As soon as we learn the flex, we can do the top in um, say two minutes. So, and I'm very excited that next week we're gonna do the flex. The flex makes our life very, very easy. It's, it's almost like a library, but it is not a library but it controls the way you do things and it makes your, your life very, very easy. Um, so we didn't know, we didn't have the flex. So look at all that we have to do. we we'll do all this manipulation, setting, setting the, um, the margin, the top, all of this to have this behavior. Next week when we are doing the flex and we are doing this very, very fast, I want you guys to remember how long it took us to do this versus how easy it's going to take us to do it next week, okay? Are you guys okay. here? Yeah. So do you see, is there anything that we are missing? Mm. I think it's perfect. Yeah, it looks good to me. It's passable, right? It's perfect. It's perfect. Okay, thank you. I cannot believe we it was too much work, right? With all these elements, so many elements to style. Um, but can you guys see that there is an underline in here? There's a line underneath. I think we have to we have to handle that. Then I have one question for you before we, we end the class. So you see there is no line underneath, and there is a line here. To remove it, do you guys know what we have to use? Of course, it's on the list, right? What items are they? These are the list. You know, the anchor, the anchor tags. Um, those are the, it is the list, yeah, but the immediate element is the anchor. But um, I believe it is because of the, yeah, yeah it's the anchor tag. So, um, if I want to remove that line here, do you guys know the property to use? You can also Google it and tell me if you want to remove the lines underneath a list item or something. Um, you, you can Google it and tell me. I know it, I know it, but I, I, want, to, I want you guys to. Um, Okay, so I'm waiting. <laughs> sir. Right, sir, if we want to just remove these lines underneath, 
Just ask the question in any way that you understand it on Google and see if they give you any property that we can we can call on the list. Use add tax decoration. Okay, so we can add it to the anchor tag because that is the immediate tag in there. Text decoration. Mm -hmm. And they say, what, what value should we give to it? None to you. None. Set it to none. Yeah. Beautiful. So you guys are pros, man. <laughs> and that went away. Thank you, guys. That was a good one. Um, of course, we can increase the font size a little bit, but it's it's a trivial thing. You guys can do that. So one question I had, you see this image at the background? It's covering everything on this page, right? It's covering everything. What if I want to give another image, a different image for the background, for this small background over here? How am I going to do it? This, this space... I don't want this image to cover the whole background. I just want it to cover only um, this small space here. Then I'll use another image for the top portion. How am I going to do it? Just give me some ideas and then we can just quickly try it. Um, it looks like that is the only question I have actually for you. So um, probably you're going to add um another image to the background and you can align it like in line or block at the background uh okay let's try that so this so the first thing is to that's a good one we need to know the name of this container right and we know that is the 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 navigation um it's nav we are calling a nav Everything at the top lives in that. So um, let's set a background to that, as you said. So the nav is this one. Let's copy this, this because it's the same um, syntax, same syntax. And now let's point this to a different image, a different image, say California. And let's say, see if that works. And that works. Right? You see, so you have a lot of control, right? You can do a lot of things in CSS. You just have the tools available to you. It's up to you to just know how to use them. And um, right now, even if you watch a tutorial and you see somebody doing the designs and your ability to understand what they are doing is also a big gain also for you. Right, because if your your manager wants you to develop something like this, you're gonna be able to do it. You just keep looking at it and you keep thinking like I was doing. You'll be making mistakes like I was doing. Then you look up, how can I fix this mistake? Or how can I have this behavior? How can I have this behavior? And then you keep you keep doing that, okay. And then before you know it, you have a beautiful design so this one the image is nice but we don't see all of it we only see some of the image i said that to fix that we just have to set the background size to cover so let's do that and see if that that shows more of the image brother uh let's see what we got so it doesn't show more of the image let's change it to contain and see the image is big, say contain. It's one of the values that it takes. Um, so contain, <laughs> we get this behavior for contain. But now we have to change the colors if you want the colors to, to be visible. So I'll just leave it, I'll leave it um, with a default behavior. With default behavior. And I think that was that was good. Uh, did I say what I did?
Okay, this looks good. Okay, so um, I also want to mention one more thing to you guys. You see this this text over here. The text is what a symbol. It's not a text like this one. So are you guys not curious where we got this from? But this is a button, and then we are so so instead of writing any text in there, say click on me, whatever, we are using um a symbol. And let me show you the HTML code for that. So like okay, I, I just want to answer that. Okay, because yeah. um is no. is is like a link. Okay. It's like a link, you know. You you can like what I did in that aspect. I Google it and I got a um like um what do I call that? Um like a picture image. Okay. So I attach it with my page. Okay. So and I was trying to see how it can be clickable like a button if I can link um an image to a button. So that is where I got stuck. And because of time, I've not been able to look at it and do the correction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was a yeah. smart way because like you said, it's an image that mm -hmm. you want to link to a button. Mm -hmm. It was a good thing. If you Google that, I think you mm -hmm. will definitely get some ideas. Okay. Um, but as we know, in computer, in computers, everything becomes a number eventually. So mm -hmm. I even did put some reference. There is a link that I found. Okay. You go to this link. So yeah. this the image. This one is we call it the play button, the play image. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you go to this list, it shows you the way to have it in HTML. So the Unicode character, you know, you know all this. Unicode character, you know, that the, the way the computer sees this symbol. Uh, so like the play button, they are telling you that in HTML, if you enter this, you're going to get this, this shape. Um, so, um, but there are many other symbols. Um, I, I don't, let me see something. I thought that the link I gave you should show you a whole lot more characters. So what we can, let's just Google it. Um, but this link is just showing only one character here. There are so many different ones we can see. Um, so we can just, we can even change that if we want. Um, bi-directional. I guess I'll have to Google from scratch. Unicode. HTML. Oh. Just anything HTML for different um different images or symbols. You know, just search, you know, anything like that. And then let's see. Oh, so this the yeah, they are just picking the, they are picking it and showing it here. If you want a spade. Oh, okay. So here too is a good reference. Um, if you want to show the sun, um, the entity is not written. They are giving us the hexadecimal values. I want the HTML entity. So let's click here to see it. Um, There are many different places you can go. I believe this is not a good reference for this, but this is a tutorial. So, um, so to display the sun, um, this is what you need. This this is the text. This is the text. So once you get this text, it's actually the same as that. So if you go in your code, um. Let, and then just change this one. Um, I want to take a picture of what we built because I think it's beautiful. This is really beautiful. Um, let's say 
took a screenshot. Yeah. Uh, and let me just also take this. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, you, you just have to go into the code. I already copied the text. I'll change this one to that. And it will give me that symbol. But the and if I just refresh this, you see you get that. So there are, there, there are many symbols that you, you just have to go through them and choose the one that you want. Um, I guess maybe this is the best way to Google this stuff. Um, there was one place I found that had a whole lot of symbols and their corresponding HTML representations. Let's see this one, UTF symbols list. Uh, let's see this. So Unicode character code. Right. Yeah, so you have them here. Um, if we want, say, this one. Unfortunately, they don't give us the HTML representation. But so I'm not really convinced over there. Let me find another place that might be more useful. Let's see this one, HTML, Unicode, UTF symbols. Uh, oh, it still brings us here. <laughs> okay, so guys, um, you, can, you can keep doing this research to find oh, so as many symbols as you can find and their corresponding codes that HTML understands and just use them. Um, this site really had amazing stuff, but I don't know what they did to the site. Maybe they did some update. Um, um, I'm going to attempt the search one more time before we end this. See, as soon as I go to the Blue 3 schools, I always see the computer slowing down. Um, here we get some of them too. Um, let's see. Um, these are the codes, but if you want to represent it in HTML, I don't think this is what you need. Um, so in HTML, you probably need what's below it. Let's keep going down. Um, let's just try this and see. Oh, it's not even copyable. I'm not able to copy this. Uh, let's, let's click on it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, guys, I think I found what I was looking for. So, once you click on the symbol, you now have the HTML representation of it. Let's go back. You have the list of all the symbols over here, the list of all of them. So, anyone that you want to use, you can take note of the site here. Uh, in case if you want to use this, just click on it and then pick the HTML entity. Just copy this and go into your code. Use it like any text, any text, any text. And then save it. Now go to go live and just refresh and you have it. It's that simple. Okay. Any questions before we, we bring the class to a close? So I'm going back and just reverting the code to what it used to be. Okay. Uh, can we end the class now? Yeah. Okay, thank you all for, for waiting and, you know, going through this. Um, I will see you guys next week. We're going to learn very, uh, the flex. Okay, sir, before you go, um, uh -huh. about my resume, I'm still trying to get um, 
the charger for my laptop. So I don't know if later in the day or tomorrow can be okay for you. I don't know. So that okay, we can so get it done. Do you want to stop the recording? I want to stop the recording and then we can oh, talk okay. about that. Is that okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, that's fine. Sure, sure. Thank you.